So the first thing you're going to want to do is to put in your times. Now there's an easy way to do this and a hard way. The hard way is to just type every time individually. The easy way is to type up the first few and drag like I'm doing. Just highlight and drag until you get to the number you want. Um, which for trial one was six minutes. Then um, you need to input your temperature data, which I'm just making stuff up here, okay? This is not going to look like your data. I just was uh, making stuff up. I don't even remember what you guys' data looked like. So um, the numbers are probably totally off. The shape of my graph is going to be totally off. Don't worry about it. This is just to show you how to graph all of your data points. This is not about what the shape of your graph looks like. So anyway, um, this you'll have to type in uh, your temperature data, which shouldn't really take you very long, um, especially if you're using a full keyboard that has one of those numbers on the right, um, like the special number keypad. That's pretty quick for typing long lists of numbers if you use one of those. Um, anyway, once you get all of your data, all you have to do is highlight everything, okay? Make sure you include the um, the labels of your columns, time and temperature. Then you go to insert scatter plot, and you want one of the ones that has a trend line. And voila, you're done. Um, you can go to layout and add axis titles, which you should do. You should always label your axes. Um, you can go ahead and label your y-axis. Y-axis should be temperature if you want to put in a degree sign. You can go to insert symbol. A character map will show up. You'll find the degree sign. You'll hit insert and you'll get it. And then uh, your x-axis should be time. And you'll want to um, show that you're using minutes and then two digits for seconds. That's what the m colon ss means. Um, if you put your time and temperature in the wrong column, you'll know because your graph will look extremely wrong. Something like this. Extremely wrong. Please, please make sure that if your graph looks like this, you right click on the whole thing, click select data, and switch row and column. And then your graph should come back out looking something more, uh, something that makes a little more sense. Okay, so... Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering, why did we use a scatter plot instead of a line graph? Um, and I will show you. If we make a line graph with our data, um, then first of all, notice that our axes are different. There's a whole lot more um, on the temperature one. Uh, for the scatter plot, we have individual data points with a trend line, whereas the line graph just has a line. And it's like saying everything's connected and there was fluid movement, which is not necessarily true. Um, so the line graph is wrong. And uh, there are also a lot of things you can do to, to format your scatter plot differently and make it pretty colors and um, add all kinds of different effects to it. Whatever you want to do, there there's a... a menu for that and the last thing you want to do is make sure that you change the t the title of your graph make it something that is relevant and that should be all you need to do